guys, welcome back to Video Games Cool. So today we are back with another game park video. I did find one western ride that was like really, really cool. Uh, this video is when we have a lot of time lapse in it, but I'm, I know you'll be okay with that, guys, because you're awesome. So anyway, I think first what we need to do is we need to get rid of all these trees. But yeah, the ride's like really cool. Sorry about that. That was kind of loud, I know. Uh, we just need to get rid of all these trees over here. Some oaks. If you play Minecraft like I do, you'll know. Alright, now that that's all gone, I don't actually know how big this is because I downloaded it from the Steam Workshop. So I'm not fully sure about this. Um, but if we come down... Uh, is this it? Cortez. I mean, it's old and looking. I mean, that's Western, and I don't think we have that, but that's not the one I downloaded personally. Um, but, I mean, it's a good one, and I think it goes well. Uh, in the park? Maybe. We could get it. If we're able to bring it up high enough. I mean, obviously we could do that, but that's like an insane. Um, so, uh, where can we put this? I was hoping to be able to kind of like intertwine it, but I think it's going to go like here or something like that. Guys, I'll figure it out. Um, anyway, I'm going to get on to the first time lapse, and you guys will see me decorating like from here all the way like over to here. So anyways, let's get on to the first time lapse, because why not? guys so i just finished up decorating uh over here i just put like a little campsite to make it look a little bit better and then over here i did add a few things right here uh, we have this and then where's our main path right here so i added a chef beef so it's kind of cool so as you can see you have like the little chef beef and um, you've got everything else. And then the background of the chef beef is like kind of sticking out, which is pretty cool. And I had a little campsite. But I couldn't find that one ride I had. But uh, this ride is what we just added. I did a pretty good decorating job, I think, around it. And, uh, well, let's ride this ride. Guys, this ride isn't too, too bad. Comp low if you would ride this. Okay, yeah, my opinion on this ride might have just changed. Okay, this is not as good as I thought it was going to be. What's going to happen? Hmm, it's awkward. I don't really like that, but you know what? Let's just go with the flow. Let's go up. Oh, I know what this is. It's one of these. I know exactly what this is. I know exactly. See those the edge, and then you go, woohoo! Hands up! Loop de loop all around, back under all around, woo! And then you go up over another loop de loop, under the pathways, up here, and then you climb up the chain, and you go back down, woo! Here you go, woo! 
backwards loop de loop and then you just go backwards. Woo All fun. Woo Ooh. I'm back to the station and back up. When you hit the brakes and then you come back in and you hit more brakes and that's the ride. Pretty good. I'd say that was actually a pretty good ride. Guys, comment below if you would ride that. We're going to be opening this ride. And, uh, yeah, so that's this ride. Guys, I'm not really actually sure, um, like, over here, like, what to do. I'm thinking we do pirate and then fairy tale. But I'm going to, like, I don't know. Or do we do, like, because there's a lot of, like, just sci-fi stuff. Like, the afterburn. The impulse. Like, this is all sci-fi. Like, like it's too much sci-fi stuff, I feel like. So, that's why I just moved on from it. But if you just want a sci-fi park, we can do that. But I say we do something like a family section or, like, a kid section over here. I think we should do a little one of them. I think this little area should be for it. So, I personally am going to design this right now. So, we're going to be starting our kids section of the park. So, it's going to be pretty cool. Um, it's going to be pretty fun. It's going to be pretty cool. And I think this is going to be pretty cool um, of a ride. So, our entrance is actually over here. Which I don't know if I like. Can I, like, see it? I can't really scroll in anymore. But, you can kind of see it. And I think we put it right there. Because it seems to fit. And right there. And we're going to connect our entrance here. Anyway, guys, on to a time lapse. kid area i think it's kind of cool because i tried to do it like medieval kind of cultural themed so we have a nice dragon we have a knight we have some tents we have this we have a big beautiful garden over here we have another sleeping dragon we have a giant fountain we have some market stalls and i think it just all looks very good when it all adds up we got a little fountain here Without further ado, let's ride this ride. Now, I'm sure all you guys would ride this. Uh, if you don't like roller coasters, it's understandable because I personally don't much. Um, but again, this is called Planet Coaster, so we kind of have to build roller coasters. But anyway, here we go. So you come around to see the treasure pile. Looks pretty cool. Got the dragon head. Got your treasure pile. You got the tent with the fire. And here you go. Coming up. Actually, should we do this a little different? Yeah, why not? We're going to do a little cinematic of it. Here it goes. Actually, eh, first person is better. Here we go. Woo! Put your hands up. Woo! Again, this is a kid ride. Woo! And then you have the sleeping dragon, you got everything, and then you're back to the station. I think it's a pretty cool ride through, like, the cultural aspect of things. And I think it's a pretty cool ride. Um, you guys, comment below what we should do next, Pirates, or do you want to see more of this kid ride section? Let me know down in the comments below. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.